Hey guys, welcome back to another Notion video, and today, this tour is brought to you by the one and only... Me. This video is brought to you by Notion, but don't get me wrong, I do love using Notion genuinely. I've been using it for many years now, for school, for my personal growth, for, you know, just random shit. But, um, yeah, I've recently entered university and I thought I wanted to show you guys what my university page looks like. And so that maybe you can use it too for your own university. I've genuinely loved using Notion, but I have to say I also love sponsorship money. So, um, uh, yeah, let's just roll with the, let's just roll with the tour, you guys. Alright, so I feel like the most sensible place to start would be my university page because I feel like that's what you guys are most interested in. So let's start from there. So this is my university page. Um, it's very simple. It mainly has five parts. So let's just dissect these parts first. But before we head into the page, let's just appreciate this banner right here. If you guys know what anime this is from, then props to you. But yeah. So this university page is mainly where I track all my notes, all my coursework, all of the information about university, all of my, my schedule work, and yeah, pretty much it has most of the things that you need in terms of tracking your university things, your university whatevers. So let's start with the left side, which would be the click link quick. <laughs> quick links said that wrong these are essentially five pages that i made so let's start with the first part which is my uni deadlines now i feel like this is probably the most important one among all of the pages this is essentially where i track all the assignments quizzes and all of that stuff as you can see over here each individual cell or each individual page here you see is an individual assignment and what's great about notion is that you can assign different properties to these so let me go through each and every property starting on the left we have is the check boxes these essentially just tell me whether i'm finished with the assignment or not these actually show a check mark if the progress is finished over here and the status over here so if i click submit it that's when it will show that it's done but obviously i'm not finished yet so i'm gonna put that back to where it was next we have is the deadline of obviously this is where the deadline for the assignment or quiz or whatever would be next we have is the course i will dive into more of this but this is essentially what course this assignment is here's the name this is where i keep the names of the assignments this is the type of assignment so i have different sort of categories so we have things like assignment, important date, quiz, exam, activity, and so on. So you can assign a page with these categories so I know what kind of work it is. Next we have is a very interesting one. So this is essentially a formula that tells me how many days left before the deadline. I made this code up. It's a bunch of if operators, but basically what this does is it calculates the amount of days between today and the due date of this assignment. And then I just rigged it so that let's say if it's due tomorrow, it will tell me it's due tomorrow. If if the if the assignment is let's say due on Wednesday, it will tell me oh this assignment is three days left. So it's a really nice indicator to tell me when my assignment is due. This is the progress bar. So this is where I mark my progress on each assignment. So there are three sort of uh, phases. So obviously not started, in progress, and submitted. So yeah, like I said earlier, if I make this submitted, it will automatically show that a check box for it but i'm not it's i'm not done with that yet the last two properties are not that important this is the notes part so i if ever i need to add notes about this assignment this is very important i can add it over here and yeah and finally we have is the file um i haven't really uploaded my files for the assignments because i keep them in a separate folder in a organized folder system so i don't really need to upload it here but if ever i need to i can just upload it right here now the great thing about this is that it may look complicated or it may look very cluttered so you can open calendar view which will open a more easy to understand view so you can see that I don't really have an assignment due today because I'm recording this on a Sunday, but I do have work due tomorrow and then the next week and all that, but yeah. And finally, I have a third view, which is the unfinished view. This view just shows me all the assignments that are not finished yet, so yeah. All right, moving on to my thesis page. This page is blank <laughs> because I don't really need to do thesis right now. I will hate my life if I have to do thesis on the first week of university. Thankfully, they are merciful and we don't have to do theses anytime soon. But if ever I need to do a thesis, I will just put all the information here and then I can sort of refer to this page for whatever. Next we have is my contacts list. 
these are all of the professors that teach in my course or in my batch so uh, I keep them all here the first property is their names then I keep track of their emails their nicknames notes about them and finally their consultation times because in my university uh, there are consultation periods where you can consult the teacher and yeah I just put them over here next we have is my miscellaneous page I just put anything that's miscellaneous here I put health protocols here because during my orientation they were talking about health protocols so I just put what they said although I don't really have to follow this because I will not be going to the university campus because it's still fully online for freshmen and sophomores so I fuck my life finally we have is the blank page I just have this blank page just in case I need to input my solutions if ever I need to type any information that's temporary so for example if I need to write a equation for a solution and I have to send a screenshot I can just put the equation here a square plus b square I, I can just screenshot this and send it as my solution this is a, this page is for temporary uses and finally we have two links over here so the first link is just a link to my uh, university canvas and another one is for my university website all right moving on next we have is the this view right here this is a view of my uni deadlines but it will only show me assignments that i haven't finished yet this is a view of this page right here and as you can see you can see all the assignments i need to do and you know i've mentioned i've already explained the deadline the type the amount of days left and my progress on it yeah it's a great indicator and it's a great reminder to me of what i need to do on the right we have is my mini to-do list so this is where i keep all of my things i need to do um of hence the name to-do list so the great thing about notion is that you can link pages now so for example let's say i see that i need to do this assignment right here tell me where you are without telling me the name of your province a very long assignment a very long name but um we'll deal with it let's say i need to do some research on this i i don't know why i would need to do research on this but um i'm, I'm just giving an example right here so in my to-do list i can simply write do research for assignment and then with double brackets i can link to this page right here task three tell me where you are where i'm looking from this is a new to-do list and once i'm done i can just click this off and you will see that it crosses everything or if i need to access this assignment i can just click on this link and it will show me to a page of this assignment where i can write all of the gibberish that i need to write on my assignment and that's what's great about notion is that these are separate pages so for example if i need to write my essay here or if i need a blank page for my assignment i can just put it right here all right moving on we have is my sort of table here so this is a simple table that shows my uh schedule so these are separate links to each course and i'm going to be leading to it soon but this is very heavily inspired by jana studies i recommend you guys watch her she does amazing content but i've made my own version and put a table instead so that doesn't really take up that much space and yeah next we have and finally we have is my course list this contains all the courses that i have for my university so we have my course code my course name and my professors which is a link properties to my contacts the nickname of my professors over here because i tend to forget their names and their emails and finally the meeting link usually because we use google meets and yeah now you may be asking wait this is great and all but where do you keep the notes well, let me show you. Remember how I said that each of these are a separate page? Well, you can open each page. Let's say I want to open my university course about organic chemistry. I can just open it over here. Let me just full screen this and it will show me this page right here. This is a university template that I made. It has learning objectives over here, although my professor didn't really show us the learning objectives of this course so i just put learning about organic matter because it's organic chemistry syllabus you can upload your syllabus here although my professor also didn't provide the syllabus for some reason so um it's blank over here on the bottom over here we have our the lectures that we have so when i have a new lecture i'll just add a new page i'll just set the date so let's say i have a lecture today and then i will rename it lecture three lecture three and then i will click what lesson that we are i'm still yet to put all the lessons for the year but and yeah the good thing about this is that you can put all the lecture notes over here if you want but i mainly use anki so i don't really put notes over here but if ever i need to do i put it over here that was a weird I, I i'm really bad at english now you may have noticed that i've skipped a part of this page and that is the uni deadlines now this is a very special view because this will only show me the assignments that i need to do that's related to organic chemistry so 
For example, let me go back to my university page. Let's say I have a new assignment. It's an organic chemistry assignment. So I'm going to put org chem. I'm going to put the code for the course. So it's org, org med or organic chemistry. Let's say it's about a uh, laboratory, laboratory etiquette, something like that, right? And then let's say it's Jew on Tuesday. And then this is a assignment. And let's say I'm in progress. Let's say I'm doing it right now. What's great about the course page is that if I go to my organic chemistry page, it will show over here. The assignment will show over here and I can access the assignment from here. It's pretty cool because it's linked. And let's say I let's say I finish this. So I click this and I click submitted. Now that's gone over here. I don't have any assignments to do anymore. And if I go to my main page, it's also gone over here. That's because it's all in the same page. So that's how it that's how I'm able to make it work like that and then if i go to the total list you will see over here yep there is the fake assignment that i made and it's officially submitted and it's in a check mark but obviously that assignment is not real so yeah i'll be leaving the template down in the description below if you guys want the template for this university page but uh yeah anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye